Hey YouTube, I'm not playing Epic Duel at the time. I just finished the the AQ World new releases. So um, yeah. Now I'm going over um the Fristy Land War Prelude. Okay, so the rules to participate, you must be in a faction. So be in a faction. Blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so um they will be reducing the faction cost. And uh, the new release is not yet out, so don't say like, "Oh my gosh, it's out!" Oh my gosh, I was like on holiday. Don't ma don't worry. Okay, um, you do a map icon, blah blah blah, or visit one of the NPCs that can take you there. Hank, Krampus traders. Okay, you will meet a number of NPCs imploring you to choose a side to support in the war. Most prominently, you will see a new type of faction flag. This is a fraction war flag, which will be used to indicate which side is currently winning the Fristy Land War. The leader will be determined by points, but how does one earn points, you might ask, exactly. Once you have chosen the side, you can venture to Legion, left, or exile, right, bases, bases, where you will meet Aldri Alidria and her Yeti army, or a host of Krampuses, ready to defend their homeland. So these are the Krampuses, these are the Yetis. Oh my gosh, wait. Okay, if you're a Legion, you will want to defeat as many Krampuses as possible. So I'm Legion, and I'm gonna defeat these Krampus guys. Um, as you can, to cross the puny resistance against your domination. Whereas the Exiles will want to unleash their fury against the army of corrupted Yetis and Arctic Guards, which will be shown there, to push the Legion out of Frosty Land for good. You can challenge those NPCs as much as you want, regardless of your level or rank. They will not count toward you, your you battle record, it's your battle record, or earn you XP. More challenging NPCs will be worth more points, so I'll, I'll burst the challenging, most challenging NPCs. Some of the NPCs will offer missions which are worth even larger point bonuses. However, that's not the only way to earn points. There is another jovial little game of sabotage. By purchasing bombs from a special Venn bot located in Freistland, players can strike at the enemy's home base on the opposite side of Fristy Land. Fristy Land. Do you mind me if I call it Fristy Land? So that's how it looks. Those are the bombs look. So the, I think so. this is going to be the cheaper one, the more expensive. Bombs can also be dropped by NPCs. This will give a, an opportunity to inflict massive damage against their foes. The vulnerable point in the enemy's base is this dark matter generator hidden deep within each compound. Da na na na. Looks it's cool, right? I, I like it, yeah. Um, click the core as you would an NPC and you will be presented with the option to plant a bomb. Lol. It's like, hello, do you want to plant a bomb on me? If you have a bomb, plant it on the core as seen. What? And what? Plant it on the core as see a cutscene of a volant explosion. Please note that you cannot plant bombs on your own core. Lol. As the war progresses and the cores take more damage, will become more progressively more unstable. Oh my gosh, each bomb, enough bombs will knock it offline for an enormous point bonus. Exactly, wow. Each day we will keep track of all the points earned by each player. The top players in each alignment will be destroyed on the war hero boards in each alignment space. This is Legion, this is Exile. You can see the Exile, and you can see the Legion here. So this is Delta copied, and this is just Arctic. At the end of the day, the point leader for the Legion and Exiles will each receive the Fusilia War Hero Medal. We Okay, they're still planning on releasing last year's Frost webs along with some new... Unexpected arrivals. These webs will give you a big damage bonus against the Fisty Land NPCs and should make the that war hero medal much more attainable. So yeah, um I I might be going for that thing, so just maybe midweek or next week. Just expect a release like that. See ya.